Yes, the really yes. cold air is staying away from us for the moment, but there's more snow on the way in the Alps, as I can show you here, through tonight and into tomorrow. Another weather system pushing south. There's the white of the snow. There'll be a little bit more in Austria as well. And that's not the whole story. The other part is the early arrival of the winter freeze further east. That's the high in Moscow tomorrow, and for the rest of the week it stays below freezing. Here, actually, it's milder than it was yesterday. It may not feel like that in the brisk breeze, and despite the fact there will be a bit of brightness here and there through this afternoon, we started with a lot of cloud, and for most it's still with us, but there are some holes in that cloud, parts of northeast England and southern Scotland. But we've also got some showers, a fair few coming in on that brisk breeze into the north of Scotland. We'll have a few more this afternoon, but through the central lowlands and southern Scotland, it's an altogether drier and brighter picture, as it is across the northeast of England as well. We'll have a few showers, though, clipping parts of East Anglia later on this afternoon, but the main area of showers all the way from Liverpool Bay through the Midlands into London and then the southeast. A line of showers here and more on that line to come. Very few showers though across the far south of England into the southwest and 12 degrees, a good three or four up on where we were yesterday, but when you factor in that breeze, it may not feel that much warmer. The odd shower into Wales and one or two on the north coast of Northern Ireland. OK, as we zoom out once again and look at what happens uh, later this afternoon into this evening, we'll see rather more showers coming into eastern parts of England. There'll be some heavy ones as well. And the showers continue out towards West Wales and the far southwest. In between, though, clearer skies. And it's here the temperature drops away overnight. A touch of frost in places on the coldest spots towards northwest England, where in the countryside we could be close to freezing. Later in the night, cloud increases into western Scotland and Northern Ireland, pushing in some rain. And that's the feature of our weather into tomorrow. As, as this area of cloud and rain slowly slips its way south down western parts into West Wales, and then much later in the day into Cornwall, even ahead of the rain, though, there'll be one or two showers here. And a scattering of showers towards eastern parts of England still, but there will also be some sunny spells for central and eastern areas. Temperatures struggling with the northeasterly breeze now that the east coast adds into double figures, despite the fact we've got cloud and rain out towards the west. Cold and frosty start on Thursday morning. There'll be some fog through central parts that may be slow to clear, but no dry day with some sunshine coming through, although thicker cloud in the northwest. And temperature